everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. Um, Hydrogen Man. So guys, this is a device here that Mercola has been promoting and you know, I'm really happy to see that he's one of the people who's bringing more attention to hydrogen. I've had a lot of people actually contact me about the pills they sell and also this particular inhalation device. A lot of people have questions about it. And as you know on my channel, I'm always gonna share with you guys what's the best out there. So if there's something better, I will always share it with you guys. So I went and did some very thorough uh, research on this particular device. And so I got a review for you guys today. So the first thing that I did is, it says it's made in Japan. I dug really deep into this and I found out that it's definitely not completely made in Japan. In fact, a lot of the internals, the only thing I could find is that they're either from China, Taiwan, or Korea, but they're definitely not Japanese. Um, well, that's one of the big problems right now in Japan is that whenever I end up researching this stuff, I found that a lot of people want things to say made in Japan. So what they do is they bring parts from other countries and then they assemble them in Japan and they literally say made in Japan. But it doesn't mean that it's a bad device. Um, that's just something that I actually found out. Now, the first thing that really surprised me was that this thing only makes inhalation. It actually doesn't make any hydrogen drinking water. And to me, that's a problem because the majority of the research shows that the benefits actually come from the hydrogen water. So you'll, you're gonna to totally be missing out on huge benefits from hydrogen with such a device. The other thing was the price. My goodness, this is insanity actually, because they have uh, three different models and these percentages, just to kind of give you guys, I'm gonna put a link down below that really explains it thoroughly because there is so many misunderstandings about percentages. And if we were comparing apples to apples, if you were to compare this to the device I use, which is currently the best device in the world that I've seen as far as hydrogen, uh, which is this guy right here, if you made this number the same way that they're measuring theirs, the Hydrofix would be almost 100%. It's like 99.9% .9%, and these guys are 7 and 2% and this one doesn't even give a number over here on this end. So all this really is is a percentage. They're actually pulling air, ambient air in and they're mixing it with the hydrogen gas. Now the important part that you really want to look at is the milliliters per minute that it's going to be putting out. Their $4,000 device or just shy of $4,000 puts 70 milliliters per minute. Um, it's not a bad number, but honestly, for what you're paying, that is, that's nuts. Because you can get a device that's basically about half the price, and it'll do both. It'll do the inhalation, it does about 120 something odd milliliters per minute, so it does more of the inhalation at just shy of 100%. And then the water, it makes the most amazing hydrogen water, so it's just like, it's nuts. And then this device truly is one that is made in Japan, because upon my research, I found out that there, there was more than one hydrogen company in Japan there isn't any more, there really is only one really big major company, the number one company in the world actually, and that's this one that makes the Hydrofix and they truly make that device in Japan. I did find out that as far as technology is concerned, this is way less technology than the Hydrofix. You're basically paying for some, you know, a lot of money for something that doesn't make any water and just hydrogen gas and it just, it just seems hardly worth it from what I've been uh, looking into. Uh, this looks like it should make the water. I thought that was for drinking water, but apparently it's not. It just has to do with something to do with condensation and whatnot. I didn't find anything about like necessarily major reliability issues, so there's no issues on that end. It being a very uh, kind of lackluster technology, kind of old, I found out that these devices are actually very inexpensive to make. So they're just highly overpriced is all. I know that they sell the pills, but as you guys know from watching my videos, I highly don't recommend the pills because in Japan during a lot of their research, they found out they're not very good for you in the long term. And in order to really get therapeutic numbers, you'd have to take a lot of them and it gets very expensive. But I like that they're showing that you can have a device because this is really the best way to use hydrogen is to actually have a device and you can make it yourself. But like I said, you're really gonna be missing out because ideally from my observation, and everything that I've read, you really wanna use both the hydrogen gas inhalation and the hydrogen water, definitely clean hydrogen water that's pH neutral, tiny little nano bubbles. Uh, you don't really want things from like China and Korea, in fact, I've been seeing even more research. This has to do with like the vaporizers that are coming out of China. And I found out that a lot of the problems is that, again, the lackluster metal technology, people are getting metal particulates. This is a really big problem, guys. This is why you have to get a quality device so that you don't have any of those problems, which is really why I use this one. And that one doesn't have any of those issues. And it truly is made in Japan. So ultimately, that's what I was able to find out, guys. I hope that kind of helped you guys understand a little bit more about these devices. I thought it was crazy that they didn't make any water. I just totally figured they made water and they just do inhalation. Plus they only run on distilled water, which is not really great because, I mean, I like distilled water and everything, but I like the flexibility. Again, for example, the one that I use, 
you, you can use all sorts of different kinds of water, not just distilled. And, and it does, you, you can use distilled with it also. So I kind of like that aspect of it. I don't like to be limited just to only being able to use distilled water. And beyond that, guys, that's everything. So hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did as usual, give the video a thumbs up, you know, support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell over there. So that way you get notifications when I release the latest and greatest videos. And that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next video.